Hello and welcome to EucraMedia.com. My name is Sergey Proknevsky and today's daily tip is how to open shape or mask path. So without any further ado, let's dive right in. This is kind of embarrassing to admit, but I didn't know about this small little feature in After Effects until today. And my very talented coworker Jesse Larson brought this to my attention. By the way, you can check out his work at jessilarson.myportfolio.com. Jesse is just a very kind guy. And if you have any questions or comments about his work, just leave him a message and I'm sure he'd be happy to hear from you. All right, so let's get to it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go to my shape tool here and select the start tool. And I'm gonna double click to bring that into my composition and I'll scale this down like so. And next I need to convert this to Bezier path because right now I can't really select my vertices in here. And so to do that, I'm gonna go inside this poly star and right click on this poly star path. And then it says right here, convert to Bezier path. I'm gonna click on that. And so now I see my vertices, I can select them individually, I can move them around, but how do I open this shape? How do I make this open? How do I keep editing it? And to do that, just select your first vertice and then second vertice. You have to have two vertices selected and then right click and mask and shape path. And over here where it says closed, just click on that to uncheck that. And now you can see my, my star is open and I can select my one vertice and hit G to bring up the pen tool and I can just keep editing it, keep adding more vertices. And when I hit the last one, it's gonna close it up for me. So this was for shape layers. Now the same thing applies for masks. So right now if I go to my pen tool and I have these two icons in here. So the first one is tool creates shape, which is why we were able to create a shape layer. But if you wanna create a mask on top of your shape layer, you just switch to tool creates mask. And when you do that, now you can draw your mask right on top of your shape layer. So I'm gonna create a simple one like so. And so next I wanna open this up. I'm gonna select two of my vertices in here and then right click and then go to mask and shape path. And as you do that, it'll open it up for you as well. All right, thank you so much for watching this quick tip. I really hope you found it useful. And if you have, make sure you like the video, share it, subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on social media. But until next time, my name is Sergey Praknevsky and this is ukramedia.com.